Good morning, Westside. Uh, it is Tuesday morning, and this is my day that I get to um, be able to share with you a meditation. We are working our way through the Psalms, and uh, today we are at Psalm 119. If you've never prayed through the Psalter before, um, you come to Psalm 119 and you get a little bit of a surprise. It is the longest of the Psalms by quite a bit, and um, and if I tried to read this for you today, the entirety, um, we'd be here a while. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read for you um, maybe the most famous words of Psalm 119, and then I I want to share a little bit more of teaching today, and um, but with an idea of maybe. Um, inviting you to, to, to try something you've never done before. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. I've taken an oath and confirmed it, that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. So, as I was thinking about this psalm, I got reminded of an experience my childhood, from my childhood, and an experience I had numerous times, and that is um, where a day was sponsored by a letter. I used to watch Sesame Street, and in that kids show, they would have uh, a different letter of the alphabet, and today uh, is, is sponsored by the letter A. Uh, this reading is sponsored by the letter Noon, um, you see, Psalm 119 is a prayer where the person who wrote this prayer wanted to give praise to God with a special focus on the word, and very appropriately words are made up of letters, where every letter of the Hebrew alphabet is going to sing praise to God. And, um, and the way that the writer did this is that uh, every letter is given eight verses, and every verse um, in that eight-section eight set begins um, with that letter. And so you open up, and the very first letter is the first letter of their alphabet, Aleph, and, um, and, and then boom, the first eight verses, the first word. Now, what this means is, is that you're getting... You're getting a tour de force of poetry and artistry where you're making a theological statement that everything sings of you, God. The entire alphabet, um, from the beginning to the end, from A to Z, um, from the Alpha to the Omega, and then um, from Aleph um, to Tau. Now, what it, what it also means, though, is, is that the writer was more concerned with beginning each verse with the same letter than the writer was of trying to, to give a comprehensive narrative. Um, it's filled with wisdom, but don't try to piece it all together. There's, it, the verses don't, don't build on one another. Each verse is making a statement. And so you, this is a little bit of a different prayer because instead of a sustained reflection on suffering or looking for God's presence or telling about the goodness of God and what he's done, this is a sustained reflection on how everything can give praise to God, how all the alphabet, how from A to Z. And um, so my invitation to you is maybe to be inspired by Psalm 119 today and to take out a pad of paper and to write it out 
from A to Z, begin with the letter A, and um, give thanks for things um, that start with the letter A. It could be people, um, it could be events, but, but see what happens. And so, um, may the Lord's word be a light to your feet, and um, may you be reminded by Psalm 119 um, of the height and the breadth and the depth and the width and all of the diversity um, that God's love is poured out upon us. God bless. Have a wonderful day.